Hello, my lovelies. It's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this equation for x. We have x to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 2048. We have x to the power of x in here. This is really difficult to solve an equation for x then, in general. But if we take a look at our equation here, on the left side we have a power and on the right side as well. So we could compare these two sides. Here we have base x and the exponent is x as well. So the base and the exponent are the same. On the right side this is not the case. We have base 2 and the exponent is 2048. But it is not yet the case. So maybe we can take the right side, the 2 to the power of 2048, and write it in the way we need it that the base and the exponent are the same number. How can we do that? Well, we can take the 2 as a base, we can change it really. But here in the exponent, the 2048, we could write this as a product, for example. So this is an even number. We can write it as 2 times 1024, for example. Just write it as a product. Because then we can apply a rule if you have a product in your exponent. So say you have something like x to the power of a times b. You have an a product here. Then the rule says that you can do the following. You just take your base, your x, raise it to the first part of your product. So we raise it to the power of a. And then you take this whole thing and raise it to the second part of the product. You raise it to the power of b. Let's apply this here. We take our base, our 2, and raise it to the first part of the product, to the power of 2. Then we write this in parentheses, and then we raise it to the second part of the product. We raise it to 1024. Because now we can calculate this. 2 to the power of 2 just equals 4. And then we have 1024 as an exponent. So this is our expression now, and if we compare it with the expression we came from, here we had a very small base and a very large exponent, and now the base became larger and the exponent became smaller. Our goal is that the base and the exponent are going to be the same number. That's not yet the case. So let's repeat this process. We keep the base as it is and write the exponent as a product. This number is again an even number, so we can write it as 2 times 512 this time. I wrote this down on the next page again. So now we can apply our rule again. We have a product in our exponent, so we take the base and raise it to the first part of the product. We raise it to the power of 2, and then we write all of this in parentheses and raise it to the second part of the product. We raise it to the power of 512. Now, again, we can calculate this here. 4 to the power of 2 just equals 16. So I erase this and write my 16 as a base here. The base became larger. The exponent became smaller. Not yet the same numbers, so let's repeat this process. We keep the 16 as a base. This number still an even number, so we can write it as 2 times uh, 256 this time. We write this as we take the base, the 16, raise it to the first part of this product, we raise it to the power of 2. We write this in parentheses and raise it to the power of 256. Now, 16 squared equals if I calculate that, 256. And now my base and my exponent are the same. So 
This equation here can be written as x to the power of x. And instead of this power here, I write it as this expression that I just found that it is the same. So I write it as 256 raised to the power of 256. Now I can just compare these two sides. My x is just the 256. And so that is one way to solve this equation. I'm curious how you did it, so please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up, and we see each other in one of my next videos. Take care!